What are you doing over there? I'm on hold with tech support. My computer locked up right in the middle of this story I'm working on. God, even Microsoft Word hates your writing. Thank you for holding. How can I help you? Well, for starters, you can keep talking with that lovely accent. Amazing. One second of a stranger's voice on a phone and you've got full Bollywood. I... I assume she's in India. Your friend is correct. I am in... It seems to be the problem. Well, one problem I have is that I have too much money. <laughs> then why don't you just buy a new computer? What? I... I... Oh, I am just bursting your balls. Oh, 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 oh. well, you're a feisty one. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, my computer froze right in the middle of a story I'm writing. Oh, you are a writer? Are you famous? By choice, no. No, sometimes fame brings a lot of unwanted attention. I mean, look at William Shakespeare. You know, Padma, I love Indian food, but I'd have to say my least favorite curry is Anne. <laughs> She's, she's a newscaster here. I, I wish I could have slipped that in earlier. Oh, no, I know her. She's internationally despised. So, are you done rebooting? Look, I, I have to come clean. Um, my computer wasn't actually broken this time. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you again. I like talking. I'm sorry, can you give me a sec? Look, I know it's crazy, but I honestly feel a connection to this woman. More than I have to anyone in a long time. That's nice, Brian, but you're from different worlds. She's in India. That's a lot to overcome. People in love can overcome anything. I guess you're right. I mean, look at Jeb Bush and his wife. Honey, do you think I'll ever be president? No, no, no. God, I can't believe you're still at work, Padma. It's like two in the morning. No, it is noon here. Do you not know about time zones? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. You guys are on metric. Oh, you're in here? Yeah, I'm on the phone. Is, uh, is Chris down in the laundry room? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> okay, looks like this is gonna be a stander upper in the garage. Uh-oh, 6%. Better hustle. It's... Oh, uh, with that Indian chick? What was her name? Dot? No, it's not Dot. It's Padma. And I have to be with her. Stewie, I'm going to India. <gasps> oh, my God, I'm going with you. My yoga class will be so jealous. Hey, everyone, the guy I told you about, Brian, he's taking me to India. Oh, my God. To us, cows are sacred. That's right. You are disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons. <sighs> wow, that came in handy. Yeah. Now, now let's, let's get out of here. Their wieners look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. We made it. This is where Padma works. I feel like I owe every bus in America an apology. So, we haven't discussed what you're going to do if she's a pig. She's already beautiful to me. And, you know, we'll see. Oh, boy. Are you Padma? No, I am Ranita. There is a python in my cube. Brian? Padma! I can't believe this. Why are you here? Because I was having a technical issue. With my heart. Ah, oh, 16 hours on a plane and that's what you came up with? I am touched you came all this way to see me. I'm so glad I did. You're even more beautiful than I imagined. So this is my town. I have lived here my whole life. Well, if you were born here, then it must be a magical place. Yes, let's go get sandwiches at that new deli I keep hearing about. <laughs> Thanks, Ganesha. I am so happy that you are here. In fact, my family is having a big party tonight. You must both come as my guests. Oh, an Indian party! I... You seem nervous. Are you worried about meeting Padma's family? Yeah. Well, that and this is always what it looks like on Homeland right before there's a drone strike. Oh, my. You both look so elegant. Thanks. <laughs> Did a little shopping today. Not me. Mine is actually an Aladdin costume from last Halloween. I never travel without it. Everyone, you were all so kind to come tonight, and it is so nice to meet you, Dheeraj. But something happened today, and I can no longer marry you. Padma, what is it? My true love is here tonight. He has come to me all the way from America. His name is Brian Griffin, and my heart belongs to him. <gasps> Quick, everyone's... But it would be wrong to marry someone I do not love. The one I love is Brian. Sir... What if I were to repay you for all you've spent? Would Padma then be free to marry whoever she wanted? <gasps> Brian, you would do that? Yes. I love you, Padma, and I'd do anything to be with you. 
I suppose that might be possible. Well, great. Just give me a chance to raise the money so I can marry your daughter and make her happy. Yes, excuse me. I have a tapeworm. All right, very good. Lie down on your stomach. This won't hurt a bit. Hey, how are you guys? Oh, you're a lady. And you sound American. How long have you been in there? I originally just came for my junior year, but I fell in love with the place. Sachin Tendulkar? Or D, Jiminy Cricket? Well, I know, I know it's not Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Unless Jiminy's based on a real person. I need an answer. You know, the more I say it, the more it does sound Indian. Jiminy Cricket. D, Jiminy Cricket, final answer. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Thank you for playing. Padma, I'm sorry. I still haven't raised the money, but I'm working on it. There is no longer a need. My father has solved the problem by promising Dheeraj the hand of my younger sister. Oh, Padma, I meant to ask you, are they like Bengal tigers just running loose in the cities? I don't know. In America, are there annoying talking babies always interrupting? Okay, it's been a long trip. Let's not say anything. Punt. I know you would try, Brian. But when I look inside myself, I realize I do not want to marry you. Mostly, I just did not want to marry Dheeraj. I am so sorry. Have I answered all of your questions to your satisfaction? No! I came halfway around the world for you! You said I was your true love! Well, by coming here, you saved me from a lifetime of unhappiness. And I will always love you for that. Goodbye, Brian. Well, Chris, looks like another day of nobody joining us for lunch. Yeah, we never should have let that blind girl touch our faces. Attention, students, this is Principal Shepard with the lunchtime announcements. And as a special treat, I thought I'd deliver them in the wrapping style you kids are so enthused about. Later today, you're gonna have a big thrill, because shortly after lunch, there'll be a lunch bag. Wow, can you imagine if one of us was homecoming king? Then people would want to sit with us at lunch. Yeah, you should run. I'll nominate you. You know what? I'll do it. Maybe I'll surprise everyone. Like when you find out a buttoned-up librarian is actually super sexy. Excuse me, ma'am. Hey, everybody, guess what? I'm running for homecoming king! Yeah, what? Yeah, Neil nominated me. Why are you home from school and Meg's not? <gasps> Has she taken a lover? Well, the voting is tomorrow, so I've got to write my speech. Luckily, Chris Griffin rhymes with homecoming king, so I've got my opening line. Oh, my God. Did you see how excited he is? And our final nominee for homecoming king is Chris Griffin. Thank you. I'm Chris Griffin. Webster's Dictionary defines smegma as a sebaceous cheese-like substance around the head of the penis. But what is a king? Oh, God, this is already hard to watch. Like that Bourne movie where they couldn't get Matt Damon. All right, students, the votes have been tabulated, so if you could all look up from your phones for a minute, I'll tell you who won. Children, a man is talking. All right, I better head down there. I brought a bag of marshmallows and a belt for Chris to bite on during his meltdown. And this year's James Woods High Homecoming King is... Chris Griffin. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 there he is, the new king. I already called and quit my job. Peter, he doesn't get money for being homecoming king. Does he get land? No, of course not. Does he get this joke? Shagadelic, baby! Oh, it's in powers! Oh, very good, very good, my liege. Well, Chris, since you're royalty now, I made your favorite. Dinner for breakfast? That's right, pork chops and French onion soup. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop. It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> That's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! <gasps> God, a lot of gym teacher suicide memorials in this place. All right, let's find the coolest kids here and see if they know anything about a prank on Chris. Those chicks in the skirts look pretty cool. Hey there, Brian Rockwell. 
This is my friend, Stewie Goldberg. What? I don't know my way around the school, so I figured I'd get the deets from a couple of seniors. Download me. Brian, it's not Goldberg, by the way. We should ask about the prank. Stop. That'd be hilarious. I'm in. Stewie, go wait in the car. No, we are here to get information about Chris I and... go wait in the car! <laughs> they had security guards in the bathroom. We, we, we live in such a culture of fear now. Sucks we didn't find out what kind of prank they're gonna pull on Chris. I know that book is The Hunger Games with the cover taken off. Oh, look, something on TV. And finally tonight, a moving story from James Woods High, where the student body has made their homecoming a special event for a very special boy. And this year's James Woods High homecoming king is... Chris Griffin! Yay! <laughs> yeah, last year we did the burnt-up kid, so this was a slam dunk. Oh, my God, they just elected him out of pity because they think he's mentally challenged. Kind of like we did with George W. Bush, huh? <laughs> right? <sighs> I, I guess. I guess, Brian. I, I, don't, I don't know. Let's, let's just watch some commercials. Look away! No one may meet the king's gaze! So, uh, hey, congratulations again on that, uh, homecoming thing. Why congratulate me on a right and natural turn of events? Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Squire, my chamber pot needs emptying. What's he talking about? He's been pooping on the waffle iron. Just plug it in and close it. It'll burn off. Look, Chris, you know, being homecoming king doesn't mean you can just start acting crazy. I can do whatever I want. I've been acknowledged by my peers as their superior. You're just jealous because you've never done anything that deserves being elected king. Okay, you want to know the truth? They only picked you because they felt sorry. Good evening, subjects. The boys' shower shall run red with the blood of my enemies. We believe in you. Good for you, Chris. No one clap too loud. We don't want to frighten him. Wait a minute. And now your queen, prom night car crash victim, Kathleen Fitzpatrick. Oh, Chris. You love me? You don't even know anything about me. You just voted for me to make yourselves feel better. She was on PCP that night, you idiots! Chris, I'm so sorry. That's okay. You guys tried to warn me. I'm sorry I was such a jerk. Ah, don't worry about it. Are you okay? Thanks, Dewey. It means a lot to me to know I've always got my family looking out for me. Oh, hey, Chris. This is Tyler. Don't make this weird now. Oh, what a gentleman. 